Now that we are through with JavaScript basics, let's go ahead and explore HTML5 Web Storage APIs. Here we'll be exploring local storage and session storage, how they are different and what exactly they are. Web storage is basically a persistent storage in browser. Local storage persists the data forever until it's deleted programmatically or via developer tools provided by browsers. Session storage on the other hand is based on tab sessions. Now let's go ahead and explore these by some code examples. So over here you can see that we have a property called local storage and if I type it over here you'll get the IntelliSense as well. So it's not something that we are defining it's something which is already present in the browser so you just need to write local storage then you put a dot and you'll be able to see what all methods and properties are available with it. So we have set item, get item, remove item and clear key. These are the functions that we have then we have length and remaining space. These two other properties. Now here if I have to get a property value what I'll do is I'll provide the key name to this function get item and if it will be found then the value will be stored in the variable like over here I'm trying to access the item with a key called prop and if there is a value associated with that prop it will be stored in local number otherwise the variable will be null so here we are keeping a check on it if local number is equal to null we will have local number initialized with one and then we are setting that local number as key value pair so key is prop over here value is the value stored in the local number variable that is one as of now and then we are making use of the set item method to set this once that's done we're simply adding one more to local number variable and then further going ahead and setting it over here so here now local number becomes two and that way when we'll access this over here in console log it will return two but next time when we'll run this the value will be fetched from here using the get item and this time the local number will not be null it will be two so it will come over here two plus one three and then the next value that will be coming up will be three and so on and so forth but if you take a look at the session storage this will be a unique session per tab so if i am opening three tabs in browser with the same url this session will be new for each one of those tabs so here if i say get item prop and we store it inside the session variable notice that we are making use of session storage over here rest everything remains same so session storage dot get item if the value will be there for the given key it will be stored in the session variable otherwise it will be null and on null we are simply initializing session as one and then we are setting it to the session storage using the set item method and we are passing the key value then again we are doing the same thing here again we are incrementing the value of session by one and then putting it over here inside session so initially it will be one and then here one plus one two so the value will be two and that is what we are retrieving in the console log so when we'll run it for the first time both the local storage and session will have the value two but next time if i open it in a new tab the local storage will be incremented by one that is it will become three but the session storage will remain two only because every time we open up a new tab a new session is started and every time the value for that new session will be null so let's go ahead and explore this now in browser so we are in the browser now and here you can see that for local storage and for session storage initially there's nothing now when i load this page you'll see the values for session storage and for local storage starting with two now if i reload it over here you'll see the value getting incremented for local storage to three and for session storage to three as well now let's open up a new tab now inside the new tab let's have this url first so here i'll paste the url and let's launch the developer tool as well so here inside local storage we will be getting 
the local and here inside session we'll be getting the session value. Let's close the earlier tab and here I'm loading it again. And here you can see that when I have opened it again, the session storage is at two and for local storage, the value now has incremented to nine. So whenever you close the tab, you actually close that session. And next time onwards, whenever a new tab is opened, the session storage is reinitialized, whereas the local storage keeps the value intact and keeps on adding to that if you have anything of that sort where you're performing an additional operation.